Hi, this is Hank Will with Grit Magazine. We're back again today to learn more about raising healthy, happy chickens. With me is Dr. Patrick Biggs, a nutritionist with Purina Animal Nutrition. Patrick, there's nothing more heartbreaking for a chicken owner than coming out to your coop in the morning only to find out that a predator has killed some or all of your birds. What are your suggestions for keeping hens safe from predators? A lot of times people think that coops and runs are designed to keep chickens in, when really they're designed to help keep predators out. The best thing to do when setting up a coop or other structure is to make sure it is well fortified against the kinds of predators that can be found in your area. Here in Missouri, we don't worry too much about bears or cougars, but foxes, raccoons, red-tailed hawks, and even cats are always a danger. In general, make sure walls, floors, and doors don't have gaps or cracks that could allow for predators to slip through. Use a narrow gauge galvanized wire to keep animals from reaching in, and bury the wire six inches deep, and then extend the wire six inches away from the coop, parallel to the surface to deter predators from digging into the coop run. We get a lot of questions about telltale signs of certain predators. One of the most recent was someone who found three of her hens missing only their heads. In our part of the country, that would most likely be a possum or maybe raccoons. However, it's not always wildlife you need to look out for. Dogs and cats can be likely culprits as well. And while snakes and rats may not kill the birds, they will steal the eggs. If someone is repeatedly experiencing the same kind of attacks, it does make it easier to narrow the culprits. Aside from checking with the fine folks at Grit Magazine, I'd suggest that people talk to other chicken owners in their area to help try and identify the specific kinds of predators that are causing the problems. Chances are a neighbor or a friend has had the same problem. You mentioned hawks earlier. What suggestions do you have for discouraging aerial attacks? Aside from covered runs and coops, you should make sure your chickens have some sort of shelter to get under when they spot an aerial predator. Even tall grasses or brush can help. Thanks, Patrick. Great information. For more great tips on raising chickens, be sure to visit grit.com or purinamills.com forward slash chicken feed.